Are you flying through Phoenix? If so, delays are probably in your future. The airport, which is home to large hubs for both American and Southwest Airlines, has started a construction and maintenance project that's going to shut down its north runway. The project is scheduled from October 6th to November 6th, and it will require the airport to operate all of its nearly 1,200 daily flights off of its south runways. Now, airport officials say to expect 30-minute delays during peak times. If you have a tight connection going through Phoenix Sky Harbor, it's advised to contact your airline with any concerns. Cruising takes flight? Well, a company called Crystal Air Cruises is moving closer to becoming the first to offer cruise-style travel on an airliner. Aimed at the super-rich, the first flights are scheduled for this time next year aboard a Boeing 777 aircraft. Now normally flown with around 300 people, Crystal's jets will seat 84 in all forward-facing, lie-flat beds and feature an extensive bar and dining area. The planes will also be stocked with over 300 bottles of wine per flight, and the crew will include a cruise director, 12 butlers, a chef, and even an onboard doctor. It's very much like Galen's house. Pricing for the air cruise hasn't yet been set, but let's assume if you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. The world's largest airline is sporting a new style. American Airlines rolled out new uniforms for its nearly 80,000 frontline employees. The new uniforms are the first style upgrade that the airline has seen in 30 years. The uniforms, which were designed in part with employee input, depart from the navy blue that the airline has worn for three decades and replaces it with slate and charcoal grays while integrating color branding from both American and the recently merged US Airways. We like the new look, but we wanted to know what your take on the new threads were, so we sent our producer Brad to hit the streets, and here's what you had to say. Do you think they'll stand the test of time and be good for another 30 years? Mm, no, not 30 years. I think they're nice for now, but I doubt it'll go 30 years. Looking snazzy. It's nice. Okay. What, what's that show? Uh, Mad Men. Mad, Mad Men, Man. thank yeah. you. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I think they're with the towns bringing retro back, but in a modern way. So there are some wrinkles in this uniform rollout. Let me just tell you, I mean, a lot of flight attendants are complaining of all kinds of reactions that they're having because of the chemicals that are present in the fabric. That's really? terrible. Yeah, it's, it's terrible rashes. I mean, uh, they're getting hives. And this happened when, it, when, when Alaska Airlines rolled out their uniform too. Exactly. And you I know, I'm glad that. you brought that up because they had the same manufacturer, Twin Hill, okay. which is a division of Men's Warehouse. Mm -hmm. And they had the same problem and they're represented by AFA, uh, America, uh, the Association, of Flight, Association of Flight Attendants. And they hired a certified industrial hygienist that has gone and done a test of these uniforms and found all kinds of chemicals in there, wow. including chromium-6, which is the Aaron Brockovich right, thing that was, right. the, the, and the, it was in the water. It was in the yeah. water. Right. And so this, these chemicals get that's into in the uniform? skin. Yes. That's and so right. another one that's present um, is methyl, it's uh, methyl bromide, and it's a, and it's an, a, uh, pesticide, and they spray it inside, inside the containers that they then put the, uh, the uniforms into ship from wherever they're coming from, China, Bangladesh, whatever. But I just got this message from a flight attendant, and it says, I wore the dress for the first time yesterday and got a headache, nausea, dizziness, and muscle wow. pains. I also had a sore throat. And the strangest thing was after wearing it during an eight-hour day, I could actually smell and taste the chemicals oh. I was inhaling. Wow. And the dress was washed prior to use and all of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, how would you like that? You have to wear this uniform and meanwhile it's poisoning you. No. I they just, I mean, they're, they need to keep us safe and make sure that things run smoothly. The last concern that they should have is, you know, the chemicals in there. I, know. I would just wear my old uniform until they figure it out. I, think I know, and they are easier. working mm -hmm. on a plan yeah. like that. Stay connected to the Jet Set from wherever you are in the world. Download the Jet Set app today and fly with us via social media. You may even land on the show.